Hi guys, uh, this is Hector, and welcome to a new video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be uh, showing you an example as of why you want to be conservative with your targets, with your full potential, uh, you know, projections. Um, when it comes to uh, perhaps if there is any round number or any uh, swing low or high in the middle of the way, right before hitting those final targets. Um, because we might indeed see a retracement up on bouncing of uh, those uh, levels of support and resistance. Okay, um, in this case, we are looking into the uh, USD JPY on the daily chart. Okay, we can clearly see that we are in a, in a beautiful, um, actually, it's a, it's a beautiful up channel. Okay. Yeah, uh, nicely swinging up and down, up and down, up and down of the dynamic area of support. And uh, I'm going to be uh, focusing on this new swing high there, up on the previous swing uh, uh, before the uh, this swing that we might be wanted to, uh, you know, a profit from. Um, I'm just going to be talking about uh, targets. Uh, in this case, the uh, full projection uh, for this new swing would be the uh, total distance, the total uh, length of the previous swing, uh, swing impulse. Okay, meaning this part. Okay, this distance marked uh, by this uh, blue segment, and then project it uh, from the tip of the retracement. Um, of the retracement part of the previous swing, okay, meaning this point. I'm basically measuring all this move up and then adding it to the uh, tip of the retracement uh, uh, of the retracement tip right there. Okay, so that takes us all the way down, uh, all the way up here. All right. Uh, as you can see on this uh, on this current swing, well, supposing this was the current swing, the swing we want to exploit from, um, we can notice how price fell shy a uh, few pips of its final target, and that's because we have this uh, previous uh, swing high at that level. Okay. Um, as I was mentioning on the website, please remember that as price is nearing this, this um, the, the, its full potential targets, the bulls might be coming, um, you know, might getting exhausted, might getting uh, a little bit tired from pushing price all the way down from here. You know, uh, uh, some people have been buying the uh, well, the USD against the JPY. Uh, therefore, the chart keeps on going up and up and up and up. But as price reaches its full potential target, less and less people are willing to be, uh, you know, to adapt to the, their long positions or uh, new trader. You know, not not as many new traders are willing to enter long at this part of the of the chart. Okay, at the end of the day, um, we are already far away from the from the. Uh, pullback and therefore uh, the uh, well the bulls might be about to uh, to get exhausted from uh, all the uh, as I was saying all the effort from pushing price all the way down from here to uh, well to the tip of the uh, of the uh, retracement uh, sorry of the uh, swing okay so as price is nearing this level uh, any any possible level of uh, um, any possible level of support and resistance, any round number, as I was saying, perhaps a previous swing high, such as in this case, um, people might prefer to close down their positions at that level before hitting the uh, the uh, full potential target uh, of the previous swing, okay, uh, and therefore we may see a retracement, a healthy retracement down uh, from the um, uh, from the top of the swing, okay. Uh, that's why whenever you are spotting a, a possible level of of uh, support and resistance, uh, be conservative with your targets, uh, shorten down a little bit your your uh, profit levels, and instead of trying to squeeze these last few pips out of the whole move, okay, out of this whole move, it makes no sense in my opinion to try to squeeze all these uh, uh, these few pips, extra pips, um, trying to breach through previous levels of uh, of uh, resistance uh, in order, like I said, to squeeze just some, f some, uh, some last few pips because indeed from there what you might see is that you are giving back all those profits back to the market. Um, so this is just uh, you know uh, uh, a reminder of uh, that it's always better to uh, be a little bit conservative with your targets, especially uh, if we are about to clash on to a level of support and resistance, and uh, close out your positions a little bit a little bit before hitting 
first of all that le that previous level of support and resistance and second the uh, full potential target for the uh, for the current swing okay all right guys that's all for this video um as usual if you have any question feel free to uh, contact me and i will very gladly get back to you as soon as possible bye bye